Okay, so we understand what the three circles are, and we know where we are in the three circles. Well, you're either here or here. We want to be here. So how do, how do we get there? Well, we get there by doing this. And what is this person doing? This person is admitting that they are a sinner. A sinner who's separated themselves from God. I have ownership of my own sin. I know of a time when I stole a little bolt from a hardware store when I was four, and then I lied to my dad about it. And I've done a lot of things after that too. I admit to my sin. I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. And then I confess Jesus as my boss or my king or my Lord. And I think that's it. It's telling God that in a, in a prayer. So let's practice that right now. And let's see if, if you're ready. I'm pretending like I'm talking uh, to your child. And you can see if they're ready. And when you're done, you can ask them if they prayed this prayer. And this is pretending that you've already talked to them about a specific prayer or about a, a specific sin. And let's pretend it's stealing that little bolt and then lying about it. God, I know that I'm a sinner. I remember stealing that bolt and then lying to daddy about it and it was wrong. Jesus, I know that you rose from the dead. Jesus, I want you to be my boss. Please save me. Amen. So parents, I would encourage you, if, you're not, if your child is ready and they say they want to make Jesus their boss and they, they admit that they're a sinner, um, they have a specific example of that sin and they believe that Jesus rose from the dead, then you could just pray that prayer with them and ask them to pray with you either out loud or they can pray to themselves and then pray it with them if, they, if you need to. And then when you're done, you just say, did you pray that prayer with me? And if they say no, maybe they, they were confused or you say why. And if it was some thing that they don't understand or something, maybe they don't believe yet, then give them time and talk about it and help them and and don't be in a rush. Um, but if maybe it was just because they were confused, then try it again and see if they want to pray with you either out loud um, and, and uh, just celebrate with them when they, when they have, uh, have prayed that prayer. And I think that's all you have to do for your child to be ready to be baptized is you're sure that they're saved. And we want you to be sure by you going through and helping them, helping your child to be saved. Um, what a wonderful milestone. Please let us know how we can help in any way.